Hello everyone, Kotungane, the Native God here. And today we'll be looking at this problem which I got from a past exam paper, right? Um, it's one of relative velocity in non-parallel lines, right? So this will be a two-part video. The first part being us solving this problem using the method of components. And then the second part of the video, right, which will be a different video, right? will be us solving this question using the parallelogram method, right? Now, as you know, when using the, or when looking at a problem based on relative velocity for objects on non-parallel lines, we have to, we have to represent the vectors on the Cartesian plane, right? We have to represent the vectors on the Cartesian plane. Right. Right. Now let's look at the vectors we have. They said two ships leave Cape Town Harbor um, simultaneously. Ship A sails at a velocity of 125 kilometers per hour in a direction northwest. Right. Now ship A, they said, it is northwest. So northwest suggests that the ship is actually moving in a direction north 45 degrees west, right? Which would be somewhere there, right? So VA, so we're gonna take that as VA, which is 125 kilometers per hour, right? And then if we remember, if we have a, an oblique vector, right, we have to resolve it into its components. So we're going to have a vertical component as well as a horizontal component of um, VA, right? So remember, this is 45 degrees. We know that because they said the direction of ship A is northwest, which suggests that ship A is actually in a direction north 45 degrees west, right? So we'll have a vertical component, right, as well as a horizontal component, right. Right, remember that as far as direction, the direction of the components must always point towards the original direction of the vector. Right, so meaning our result component will be in that direction, right? So the vertical component we can name as the component of A in the Y direction, right? It's headed north, so it's positive. So we have 125, right? This side is opposite the angle, so sine 45, right? And then the horizontal component we will name as the component of A in the X direction, which is equal to, now it's headed west, so we take it as negative 125, right? it's adjacent to the angle, so cos 45, right? So that is the components of uh, velocity A or ship A, right? So now we look at ship B. They said ship B sails at a velocity of 92 kilometers per hour in a direction southwest, I mean south 25 degrees west. So south 25 degrees west, which would be something that's there, right? So they said south, so that's the angle 25 degrees west. Now, if that's 25 degrees, it means that this angle is 65 degrees, right? And then our vector B, so VB, is equal to what they said it is equal to 92 kilometers per hour so 92 kilometers per hour now this is an oblique vector as well so we have to resolve it into its components right we are going to have our sub component as well as a vertical component right now, because of space, we can simply just represent 
the physical component say there right right so as far as direction remember the components have to go in the same direction or have to go towards the direction of the um, of the oblique vector right so meaning the vertical component of vp will be in that direction and the horizontal component will be in this direction right so the horizontal component right of b we will say the component of b in the x direction since it's headed west i'm going to say it's negative right so negative 92 cos 65 degrees and then as far as the physical components you will say the components of b in the y direction it's headed south so we're going to say it's negative 92 and this side is opposite the angle 65 so sine 65 right those are our two components right now we can place this maybe in this manner which will be much neater so I have that component there right so that's going in that direction and of course this is the original vector vp right right now we're gonna use the conditions of equilibrium to get the velocity of a relative to b right so remember they said they want us to calculate the magnitude and direction of velocity of the velocity of both a relative to both b so essentially they want us to calculate vap so a a is the object and B is the frame of reference in this case, right? So we say the sum of V X A B, right? So the sum of components in the X direction for A being the object and B being the frame of reference. So this will be equal to so V A in the X direction minus V B in the X direction. Right, VA in the X direction is equal to minus 125 cos 45, right? Minus, then VP in the X direction is equal to negative 92 cos 65, right? Now, if we punch this in your calculators, we are going to get negative 49 comma 507 which is equal to what 49,507 kilometers per hour and so it is negative and it's in the neck in the x direction it means it's going west right now we calculate the sum of components in the y direction so vy ab so I'm going to say V A in the Y direction minus V B in the Y direction, right? So V A in the Y direction is equal to the 125 sine. So 125 sine 45 minus V B in the Y direction, also negative. So negative 92 sine. 65 right and if you punch this in your calculators we are going to get 171,769 kilometers per hour since it's positive and it's in the y direction it means it's going north right right now we have both our components so we can get what the velocity of a relative to b by using Pythagoras.
right? So VA relative to B is actually equal to the square root of the sum of V x a b squared plus the sum of v y a b squared right so v a b is equal to the square root of the sum of v x is 49 comma so 49 comma 507 so squared right plus the sum of v in the y direction which is 171 comma 769 squared right now if you punch this in your calculators we are going to get the 178 comma 761 kilometers per hour right so this becomes our values of a relative to b right and of course this is a vector so we have to get the direction as well All right now if you were to represent the two components and complete a parallelogram right the two components being so this one so the one seven one comma seven uh, seven six six nine right so we have this kilometers per hour and then we have the x component going in the west direction right so it's going west and this is 49,5 or 7 kilometers per hour, right? Then you complete the parallelogram. Right. So meaning VAB is in this direction All right so that is a VB All right remember that the relative velocity will always be the resultant of the two components right whether you're using the method of components or using the parallelogram the resultant of the parallelogram and the resultant of um, the resultant of the two components right so when using the uh, what is this? Pythagoras, right? The resultant becomes the relative velocity we are looking for, right? Now, as far as the angle, you could either use your x or y axis as your what is this? As your as your reference, right? So, I'm gonna use y, the y axis as my reference, hence I'll call that theta, right? So we know theta, right, using the trig ratios, right, we're going to use 10. So 10 theta is equal to the side opposite, which is the 49,507 over the side adjacent, which is 171,769. To get theta, we need to calculate the upturn of 49,5 over 179,769 right so theta if you punch this in your calculators will be equal to 16.078 degrees right meaning what meaning that the value of a relative to b is actually the 178,761 kilometers per hour Right, my reference was the y axis, right? So y is heading north, so it means north. Then my angle, the angle being 16,078 degrees, right? Which direction? West. Right. 
and this becomes the velocity of a relative to b in magnitude as well as in direction right don't forget to watch part two of this video where i'll be basically doing the same uh, problem but using the parallelogram method right hope this video was helpful to you and um yeah good luck man